So I want to share with you the group that's putting together the Rome Yard deal in West Tampa. And then I want to share with you some of the leverage that we was used, that we was, we were able to use as the CDC, West Tam as the West Tampa CDC, to bring back needed resources to the community. So let's start with who the team is, and then on the other side, I'll talk about the project and benefit from the community side. This is our team, as you currently stated, or you know, some of our team. We have uh, Related to Urban partnering up with Tampa Housing Authority. Um, Ziskovich is our lead architect, also working with DDG Architects. Emily Horn on the civil engineering side, Stearns Weaver for legal and land use planning, and uh, Randy Cohen, our transportation consultant. Uh, next slide, please. A major concern we had with this uh, project uh, is what, whether or not they would actually include minority businesses to have an opportunity to be part of this uh, part of this uh, project. Uh, and this is what the question was posed to them uh, by Joe Robinson, who is the uh, vice chair of the CAC. And here's that response in terms of participation. This is last, the last 50 years. Where are we at with minority business participation on this as far as um, in the design and the development of it and the where we got minority businesses uh, besides building it and operation? I might ask a follow up question on that, but where are we at with that? Front end work that gets done on development. Yes, sir. So we have committed the city of Tampa RP uh, requirement was 20%. We've committed to 40% at a minimum of minority uh, business participation. Right now, just out the gate, we have um, Voltaire. They're going to be our MEP design on the entire project. We also have um, Duke on construction. They're going to be building all of the uh, townhomes, 40 townhomes, you know, millions of dollars. That's uh, Ernie Dubose. Um, we're also working with uh, Michael Randolph at the West Tampa CDC. I know he's on the line, as well as Ernest Coney at the uh, CDC of Tampa. If you haven't noticed, um, this is me all the way down to your right, the guy that's in the black hat and the black uh, shirt. Uh, I attend the meeting uh, verbally. What we were able to negotiate out the deal related to um, the Romeo deal was to bring back to the community a, a packet that would reduce gentrification enhance public safety, increase residential um, uh, wealth, as well as provide opportunities for existing minority, especially black or businesses. The program we created uh, is known as the West Tampa CDC Technology, Wealth Building, and Job, uh, job uh, Creation uh, Initiative. It focused on many elements, but let me talk about the wealth building component, one component of the West Tampa Wealth Building uh, 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 a component to this initiative. Uh, I want to talk about what we call the e-commerce and home base initiative. 
among the fastest growing industries in the United States is e-commerce and home-based businesses. We're focusing on creating between 50 to 75 new resident-owned um, home-based uh, businesses. And by the way, it doesn't cost that much to start up a business. The home-based businesses that we're going to focus on is people that might want to do a cleaning service, landscaping, cake making, homemade products, pack rooming, consulting, institutional, I mean instructional, consulting, and then in, I can't get this out and instructional, then marketing and branding, video commercial production, junk calling are some of the example of uh, home-based businesses that can get started. What, what we're looking at 